Athens County 911. Where's your emergency? Hello, I, I think my friend drank a little too much. Okay, is he still breathing? Yes. Like he's like okay. pretty in, he's pretty in and out. Colin Wyatt was an 18-year-old pledge at Ohio University's Sigma Pi fraternity. The 911 call suggests Wyant was so inebriated he couldn't even stand up. Everyone's doing whippets. Colin takes a hit and has an asthma attack and goes into anaphylactic shock. His eyes roll to the back of his head and he is in trouble. Nine or ten minutes went by before anybody was even called. But Wyant did not recover. He was pronounced dead at an Athens, Ohio hospital. 5.25 a.m. and I heard a knock at the door. I went down and opened the door. There were two police officers. They said, um, are you Kathleen Wyant? And I'm like, why? And I remember they said, on behalf of the Dublin Police Department, we regret to inform you that at 3 a.m. this morning, your son, Colin Wyant, was found unresponsive at 45 Mill Street in Athens, Ohio. I couldn't see straight. It was, uh, I just remember crying I'm just in being inconsolable. I just couldn't believe you know what I was hearing. My husband and I started talking and we were like, you know, you hear those hazing stories on the news. I mean, you never think it's going to happen to your family, but you hear of those hazing stories. And could this be hazing? And we're like, it's probably not. Like, that's just crazy. In the course of our investigation, we learned that Colin Wyant had been the pledge class president of Sigma Pi and that there had just been horrific acts of hazing. Uh, that went on over the course of a couple months to the point that Colin was literally exhausted. He was um, having a very difficult time in school, and this is a really smart kid. I mean, special kid. You just get angry about how something like this could happen and take that kid away.